characteristic, you want to keep character and production, protection and provision and all these other things on. And that ain't how it works. You pick a man, you a man is ba picked based upon his character, his ability to provide and protect. Mm -hmm. The package it comes in is irrelevant. You need to be attracted to him. Him be attractive to you is secondary. You're the, supposed to be the cute one. He's supposed to be the productive one. But in our community, black women want black men to be black women. You want the men to be cute. Oh, no. You, you cute. Hey. Hello. Hey. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me on here today. I see the How old are you? I'm 28 years old. All right. Single or married? I'm single. All right. So the question on the table, modern women, do you really understand how bad they've gotten? Oh, so from my experience and from what I'm seeing on my end over here in Atlanta, no, they don't know how bad it has gotten and how bad we need to change. And honestly, I feel like because, and I don't even mean to say I feel like, but from the programming on television, especially with my generation, um, TV basically grew us. So when you had the Bad Girls Club, you had all these reality TV shows of uh, women being belligerent and seemingly winning because they're on TV, mm -hmm. then it set the tone that when I was coming up, it looked like the thing to do, the thing to be, the woman to be loud and just out here. So it's the, right. it's the, it's the, uh, it's definitely the. I'm going to okay. ask you in Atlanta, I live here and it's 17 to one. If, if it was 17 men to one woman, do you think men would know they would have to compete to get that one woman? 17 to 1, yes. They would have to compete to get one. I say, do you think they would know they'd have to compete? If there's only one woman and... and so if, there, if, if you went to a place where there were 17 men and one woman, do you think the men of that population would know and understand that if they want a woman, they got to compete to get yes. her? Because yes. she's limited. Okay. Do you feel like the women of Atlanta compete? To get men? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. okay. Yes, they, I, I think that the women are competing in a sense, but they are not, they're not competing because they don't know what a man wants. So they're competing, they're, they're doing something, or at least, you know, when they dress up, put on the makeup, put on everything, they're going out there to compete because they want to look good. But I feel like they're competing. And she hit it on the head with that. That's all they're trying to do. They're just trying to look good and in actuality, compete with the next woman but not necessarily for a man to impress a man it's about all the disguise you know and all this other stuff that they got who got the best hair who got the best kicks so on and so forth but in terms of those wife duties and skills and homemaker skills and stuff like that nah but it's a it's a no-brainer like kevin said i mean if it was 17 men competing for one woman, yo, and at the end of the day, you're not going to get no buns, no kids, no anything. You damn right. I mean, a lot of dudes would shape up so on and so forth, especially if they, the guys who are trying to get married. They're going to try to present the best product that they can. But it's like even women, even with odds like that, where some people question that 17 to one thing. But with odds like that, it would be like. You would you would definitely put in more effort other than I'm just going to throw these looks up. And if I build just just the looks, the BBLs, the buns, they'll come when everything else is just everything else is jacked up at the end of the day. But let's get back to it. Getting against other women. To so what you so that. what you just what the example you just gave me is mm -hmm. I asked you, what would would men have to compete for a woman? And you said yes, because men would know the game they're in. The right. example you just gave me is women are in a game of NFL football, but then they're competing in a game of checkers. <laughs> right. Then they're not competing. No, they're not competing. Not at all. They're not. Thank you. That's why I asked the question competing. that way. Because right. women <laughs> think they're competing, yep. but they're competing according to their rules and they're according to women. Because in Atlanta, you see... Hair, 
nails, yeah. colors, weight. And men say they don't want any of that stuff. And this is the land of all that. And the men are like, we don't want this. And yet you keep giving it to us. How many times have I have how many times have I said it? Men want women who are fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. Yet the one thing that all women can control immediately is their fitness level. Ish. Yeah. Eighty percent of our women are not competitive based on that alone. Yeah, that's sad. Very much true. And I agree. I agree. But I mean, you know, that that's a that's a United States problem as well. Everybody's damn near obese here these days. But um that, so why, that does, why, why, why I'm curious, why does that matter? Why does what matter? It's a United States problem. Oh, well, no, I'm saying the obesity problem is a problem Mm -hmm. Um, for people being big in general. I mean, it's not even just women and men, but for what we're talking about. I mean, it's not just women. It's also men. But for what we're talking about, more specifically, it's very important that women, because like you said, you see guys are going to see you. The why I asked that question, ma'am, is because that, too, is what's in our culture. We have been able to just put stuff in that doesn't matter in order to deflect or justify. I got what you're saying. Women in our community will sit back and say, well, damn, yeah. Sis said it, yeah, it's the United States. Uh, Black women are getting married at a rate of 26%. The next lowest group of women is white women at 54. So you're getting, they're doubling you up. And the the average black marriage is five years. At almost a 60% divorce rate, and divorce is filed 80% of the time by the woman. These are these are facts. I mean, but why? Why? Like, that's not a real question. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, we we yeah, she it's like she <laughs> y'all having a conversation here. What what do we talk about, man? Let's get let's let's get down to the. Let's get down to the gusto of it, man. What's happening? Hey, what's what's happening with your uh what are you looking for, baby? You having you having any issues? You having any troubles? What's your dress size and all that? Let's let's get to it. I get why, like I just said, programming and, and we messed mm, up. Why like why this. why well, number one, uh in our in our culture, women have been told that they're the prize and you're supposed to be happy. So just like the woman I talked to earlier who couldn't get her mind around the fact that women actually got to get out and compete and get on a man's page instead of saying, we got to cooperate with each other. No, you got to cooperate with us because like it or not, non-black women are all in these spaces and they're seeing that black women are not competing for their black men. Mm. And they are, and they have no problem coming and scooping up the guys you don't want. And they're looking over. I mean, but it's a land of the free. Do you have a shot to get him? Sure. You had a shot. But how often, how old are you, 20 what? 28. All right. So how how many times in your life have you heard black women talk and laugh about laugh about women getting up early in the morning, going to yoga class and, and, and starving themselves and eating this and that? How many times you heard that? Go, you said starving themselves? Well, that's what black women would say, starving themselves. How many times have you heard black women laughing at other groups of women who get up and eat a plant-based diet and go work out, diet, and are fasting and, you know... Oh, you know I get what you're yeah, yeah, I mean, they, 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 they definitely make fun of people who... They do. What that, what, that, uh, what that BBW said on one of them videos, she was like, oh, that's white people stuff. Or these who diets... are more conscious. Right, right, right. Monique? These these diets are for are for white people. They're not for us. Them, that that skinny stuff, them diet stuff, that's for white people. That ain't for us. And that BBW, man, they, uh, that's they, they health or being healthy is you know correlates to being what white woman. What they do that yoga and all this stuff, man. Wow. Man, you know, a lot of comedians who made an entire career out of it. Yeah. Right. But those women were being competitive. Our women aren't even trying to be competitive for us. I mean, and it makes sense. But can I ask you this question? Go ahead. So, what is it that 
Um, I know you talk about women not knowing even what to choose in a man. Like, what is it? Because you said it's not even about love anymore. And, and you know, through our programming growing up, we've fetishized love and wanting to find love. And, oh, it's going to be a happily ever after. But that's not the reality of the world. So what is it that Black women, quote unquote, and, and saying like, Who got us together? Bring it home. home. Got to land a plane. What's the question? Yes. Um... What is it that black women have to look for in a black man? What what are we looking for? Question. Okay. Wow. What what do you mean? I don't understand the question. Yeah. What are you looking for in a black man in what regard? Yeah, to to choose the right man. Because I watched something that you talked about. Women don't well, know. Right, choose the right man for what? Marriage? marriage. Yeah, marriage. Mm-hmm. Oh. What'd your father say? And that's why I'm asking you, sir. Because okay. he did not tell Okay, so, so were your mother and father married? They are still married. And do, is your father helping you vet the men you date? No. Why not? Um, my dad did not, wasn't raised by his father. So um, I love my dad, but he there are just some things that he just doesn't do, doesn't know how to do. How long is you married to your mother? 43 years. Sounds like you know how to pick a woman. Says, said again? Sounds like you know how to pick a woman. He'd be married 43 years. Yep, they've been working together. No, no, no. I mean, sorry, she's been working so, together. So, <laughs> you, the, the man who married your mama for 43 years, uh-huh. he has not, in, he's, he, but you've just not gone to get his counsel in any of this. Thank you. No, 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 no. You got to explain what, what what's going on with him. Is he a pushover? Is he just like, he has no spine? Does your mom run the relationship? Is that what's going on here? Like, it's just like, you like, I don't even want to bother to get him involved. He wasn't raised by his dad. So it's just certain things that your mom changes the tires. Your mom um, pumps the gas, you know, stuff like that. Is that what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, let me hear this though. I'm not saying I haven't tried. What, like I said, my dad. So when you go up and say, "Dad, help," I'm trying to understand how to pick a man like you so I can have a, a, a marriage. He just says, "I get out of my face, daughter." No, 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 no. So if okay, example, I brought a man to my dad before. Uh, plenty of men because when I'm dating, you I'm brought dating. a man to your father. That's the problem. So what's thank the, you. Okay, you can't make this shit up. I said, yeah. is your father helping you sort through men? See, the answer is, oh. you're not supposed to be picking men. Men are supposed to be picking you. Put your dick up. Makes Too many sense. of you women think you can get out here and pick a man and then pr present him in front of your fathers and then what well, he doesn't approve of them because I don't know how to pick. But what if I don't like who picked me? You cannot make this shit up, people. This is perfect. Everything she just said, she just negated in two sentences. Everything she just said, she negated in two sentences. A 43-year married father. What if I don't like you? Pick me. That's your fucking problem. What you like don't work. Um, damn. You right. What if what if what you like don't pick me? What if what the father if what the father likes or what if what you like don't pick me? The guy doesn't pick you. <laughs> I don't know. Man. I guess that's what it, what they said. I'm I'm confused. I'm gonna tell you that ain't true. That's right. That's why I'm single now, huh? <laughs> Up okay. under your father, who apparently knows what he's doing. He picked a woman to marry for forty three years. See, other communities do that. It's like you've heard them talk. That's the problem. We have a matriarchy, yeah. and y'all think y'all know what you're doing, and you pick men based on what? What is the one characteristic you should pick a man based off of? That's a question to you. I'm sorry. Say it again. You got what's the what's the what's the what is the one characteristic, the major characteristic you should choose a man off of? When I should choose him off of? 
protection, based on protection? Being able to provide? Nope. Oh, we'll see. I don't know. There you go. That's why you that's why you pick wrong. I, I ain't gonna tell you no. I, that's what I said. I, protection. I, protection. So character. But what you like, what makes you what gets you moist ain't character. That's why I let that go, folks. This still goes down to this atavistic mating standard. You ladies want the men you like that you're sexually attracted to, then you want to heap his characteristic, you want to heap character and production, protection and provision and all these other things on him. And that ain't how it works. You pick a man, you a man is ba picked based upon his character, his ability to provide and protect. Mm -hmm. The package it comes in is irrelevant. You need to be attracted to him. Him be attractive to you is secondary. You're the, supposed to be the cute one. He's supposed to be the productive one. But in our community, black women want black men to be black women. You want the men to be cute. Oh, no. You, you Cute, like, whatever. That's not what you pick a man over. What's the biggest age gap you have at? I don't think women care about looks. It's about swag. It is about character. Shit, they'll take that over a man... They'll take that with a man that ain't got a job. He got character. He got swag. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know about all that. Being able to provide definitely is is a woman should your woman. What I would tell my daughters, which I still need to put that video out, is you women, women who really got their head on their shoulders and is dating with intention and looking for a man. Should be looking for a man that is she she finds security in security as in dude's not you know he's mentally stable he's financially stable and able to take care of you and whatever kids you may have and all that other stuff is superficial but I never really seen it for the women that I've interacted with really care too much about a man's looks just just from my experience they did a man. How many years? Who's the oldest man you've ever dated? How many years older than you? At the time, uh, he's seven years older than me. Okay. In the ballpark, seven to ten years is the minimum. Mm -hmm. But again, and this is what goes on. Our, our women want to pick people who are age inappropriate, character inappropriate. When you have a model in front of you, they reject the model, and then you're left answering what the problem is. Now, I got a hard question for you. Uh-huh. Height? My height? 5'3". Mm -hmm. I'm Dress five, size? Three. Dress size 4. Okay. Do men prefer women with short, medium, or longer hair? Uh -oh. Uh, depends on the man. Oh, bull fucking shit. Ah, oh, come on. Bull fucking shit. I got guys to love by Bull hair. fucking shit. Wow, beauty standards, really? Okay, long hair. Let's go with it. Long it's not, not beauty standards. Men have evolved to like women with longer hair because it shows a woman who has lived and been healthy and not sick. So she's more likely than not to be able to get his children into the next generation. That's on any freaking continent during any period of time. It is not white European standards. It's evolutionary goddamn biology. So in Africa, the woman that... Evolutionary biology. Okay. <laughs> So when you tell me it oh, depends, it doesn't depend. This is why, why men like a certain hip to waist ratio because it's easier to get a child through that birth canal. The same reason why you tend to like men who have broader shoulders and narrow. This is why I go back down to the uh, fundamental. Our women absolutely do not know who we are. They're completely clueless about us. They don't know what we think. They don't know why we pick. And when you start telling them what we like, oh, that's because the white man. Like we don't know our own day. Now me personally... A woman can rock her hair long. I can't say a preference, really. I'm leaning more towards the longer hair, you know, but that bald 
It's not really my thing. Low, I can deal with a woman with a low cut. You know, I can, you know, not look like, can't really see it, but uh, I ain't making fun of her. I just don't look too kempt to be on camera. But uh, I, I can, um, I can deal with a woman with a low cut, just not that, that uh, tennis ball look. You know what I mean? Their minds. So the women in Africa who have short hair now. You ain't in Africa. <laughs> I want to be. I really want to be. I thought he brought in. <laughs> what? Come on, Mr. Samuels. I'm just, okay. I got you. I understand. Why do you want to okay. go to Africa? Because I just, it don't feel, it doesn't feel, I mean, that's besides the topic. It doesn't feel what? No, it doesn't feel what? Here it does not feel normal, natural, something is just not connecting for me here and of course that could just be a, a me thing that's why i'm in therapy trying to figure out all it is because it's just a lot going on so yeah i just i think i've never been to africa before right so i'd like to visit what third world, what uh, uh, what, like. uh, uh, okay have you ever traveled outside the united states yes plenty of times where what what's uh to where I'm Jamaican, so Jamaica plenty of times, Europe, uh, Dubai. I've been Jamaica, Jamaica. Uh, were you staying at the resorts, or did you go to Stab in no, Jamaica? No, family. I live. I, I'm from Jamaica. We have family. I, I stay with family. Okay. <laughs> Would you live there? Would I live in Jamaica? And, and not on the resorts. Kind of like in in in, in the countryside. After living here, no. Thank you. You're in a, you're, you, this is what I mean. We got so many first world damn women who want to go get back in contact with the motherland and you are a first world Western woman. You're out of place, you go to Africa. You're going to find out out of place real goddamn quick. So you, you start beat boxes, to... start beat boxes, rock, and <laughs> go find real quick this Western First world country standards out of place. The, the real place you're out of, ma'am, is in the order with men. This is one of the reasons so many modern women are lost. That's why I'm doing this call. You're lost because you're out here alone and you should be with a man. We are your only purpose for being on the planet. Mm. We are your reason for being. Single, solitary female cannot survive in the environment alone. We are your reason. Ooh. That's why I see so many women out here depressed. I'm a PhD, PhD, all this other stuff, and four, one out of four on some sort of psych med, depressed because you are not with your natural, hereditary, biological counterpart. You're a man. So you're going to seek meaning Elsewhere, on a continent, in a book, Hotep, Shaza Bay, whatever, when it really should be Malik. Malik. That's your, that's why you're lost. And your 43-year-old, 43-year married father, who apparently has done something, he's supposed to, they ain't lost. They know exactly what the fuck they're doing. But you got to go uh, touch the continent to go to try to, what, divine the ancestors and uh, go go to the what? The ancestral plane? Yes. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Y'all lost because you're not next to you. He tripping. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin with the comedy here. But I hear you, baby. Ain't nothing like self-discovery. And maybe you're still on your journey. You know. I'm not mad at you. You're still on your journey. You, Your parents may be helping. You may be just saying they aren't. I mean, your father. But, um... Maybe it's just not for you at the end of the day. You know what I mean? It might it might not just be for you. Men. <sighs> you don't think that's a you think I'm kidding? Bring your ass over here to shops at Buckhead and just sit out here on any Friday or Saturday night and you watch non-black couples sitting at these tables and watch how they interact with one another. Watch how they laugh and such and so forth. Then you come out here and watch, you see groups of four women. <clears throat> and then we see do do you see men and women? It's more likely to be this. You're out of alignment. You're out of position. So the, what you're looking for ain't on the continent. Mm. I don't think so. That's why I said uh, we just lost Michael K. Williams, Omar, 
Uh, we got to play the Omar on the Wire. Yeah. yeah. We're not meant to be alone. The human animal is a social creature. We are not meant to live. In, we're meant to live in groups of roughly around 150, 200. The largest human settlements, the massive ones back in the were 5,000. And that's after the agrarian economy. When we were hunter gatherers, you didn't have large groups of people. You had 150 people that were like eight, 10 families. You married the dude that grew, we, that is who we are. And the women grew up with the boys and they knew from the time that they were little that the men go out there and bring the meat, they keep the safety and everything else. They are our reason that we're safe and secure and everything else. You have a, you owe something to your men. They owe something to you. Do you actually think our women are moving through this? Admit that they should smile at black men. Black women have a hard time getting black women to admit that she even should smile to black men. Can I interject? I don't mean yeah. to cut you off right there. But um, that that was actually something that you I heard you talking to another young lady about smiling because that was something um, growing up in, in school that I was told I smiled too much at people. So I was reprimanded for smiling too who told you much that? at men, black who told men. You? Uh, black who, to, no, who, who told you that? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, teachers. Teachers say that a lot. I, I hear they say that shit a lot. If that's what she was she saying. Black men said that you were reprimanded. Who was reprimanding you? It had to be the teachers. Who told you? It was smile? a teacher. Yeah. A black man. Okay. A black, a black man. Hold on. A black male teacher. Yes. Told you you smile at black men too much. In what grade? Um, eighth, eighth or seventh, seventh, eighth grade. I was in middle school. Mm -hmm. And what'd your daddy say? I never told my dad. Hmm. I never told my dad. I just felt bad. I felt bad for it. And that is another thing. And that's also why I'm going to therapy because a lot of, I have experienced a lot of, I feel like negative. I'm sorry. I'm slapping this. I'm, no. A man that ain't your father tells you you smile too much at me and you don't go tell your father? Yeah. We didn't have an open, uh, communicative relationship when I was younger. It's better now. It sounds like she didn't, there must have been something going on altogether. Like, I don't trust him. I don't depend on him. Oh, but when I was younger, it was not very good. So there were issues there. Why? I No, I did not tell him. Did he keep a roof over your head? Did he keep you protected and provided for? Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. he, he wasn't meant to be your friend. He's meant to be your father. Correct. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know Papa put a light in the sky for the G's Let them turn memory from go Blessings we send to the ghetto youth